everyone, it's Sin and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you guys and it is finally the updated version of my setup. So I hope that you guys are ready for that. Here we go, let's get into it. I will be explaining some things and I'll have everything linked down below in the description if you guys are interested in that. These are just some things that I had gotten along the way. I didn't get these all at once, of course not, because it's like expensive and a lot of this stuff well, I could not have gotten without you guys. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. I love you guys. So this is my gaming chair. It is an AK Racing chair in the color Arctica, right? It says on the bottom, yes, Arctica. There we go. I actually got this from my viewers on YouTube. They actually donated to help me get this chair and I absolutely love it. Couldn't work without it. It actually has this back pillow that helps me sit up straight and that's really nice. It's a nice aesthetic. I'm watching Scumpy right now. Holla, he's playing Call of Duty, yas. So right here we have my actual setup where I sit down and play. Um, I used to have all three monitors in a circular fashion where it was like all connected, but I decided to put this monitor as my comments monitor. That way I could read some comments because some people were complaining that I just didn't see things and then the bot talks a lot. So I just decided to do that and I, and I really like it. Um, my monitors are actually by Samsung. Um, I have some lights behind my monitor, which are the Govy lights that I actually promoted on my Instagram channel, channel, oh my God, my Instagram account. So check those out. I'll have the link in the description below. I don't think I have an affiliate link for that, but you know, I'm hoping to get some more plants. Um, so hopefully I can have like a little terrain there. Very cute. I have a wireless charger for my phone. That way if it goes off, I can see it right there. I love the way that the lights bounce off the wall right there. It just looks so nice. This is my mouse. It is a Razer Mamba mouse and it's wireless, but it can be wired too. Apparently the input lag is not very high on that and I do like it. I love it. It has like little buttons on the side, a nice, um, scroll wheel where you can actually feel it scroll so it's really good for gaming and then they have those buttons right there for dpi it's super fast and, and i like it fits really well in my hand um right here we have my elgato stream deck um it i've had this for so long it's just like getting like a weird i don't know maybe i'm scratching off the black part but this is my elgato stream deck this is where i put things up on the stream that's how i do it if you guys were wondering um, these are just some Logitech speakers that I have and they still work. I bought them four or five years ago and they work perfectly fine. You don't need expensive speakers unless you're like a music producer or something. I just have a Blade Hawks um, mouse pad and it lights up and you can change the colors. If you just uh, go down here and you press this button, it's underneath my keyboard right now, but you can change the colors and then you have somewhere it cycles the colors. I personally like it pink though. And uh, as you can see, we have some cord management issues, but whatever, it works right now until I get like an actual gaming room. Um, I do have an Alienware computer. So this is the Alienware R7 Aurora. Um, it works perfectly fine for me. I can stream any game and it'll be okay. Um, I turned off that light because I feel like I just wanted to save power and all that. And um, when I'm sleeping or if I'm just like chilling, it just gets in the way. Um, all right. Here is my mic. I've had this mic for, I wanna say three years now, and I love it. It hasn't given me any problems whatsoever. This is a pop filter, so if you guys want to make sure that you sound extra crispy and you're not like Like that's what that stops, like that high-pitched sound that you might've heard with my camera mic. This is the Blue Yeti stereo microphone. Um, is it muted? No, it's not muted. Um, yeah, it's really lovely. I really love the way it sounds, especially when it's super close to my mouth, but I don't put it close to my mouth because during the stream I can be pretty loud and I start to rage or yell or scream. So I don't do that. I put it a little aside, like down here. Right here, as you can see, my monitors are actually curved and I love them. I love the curved look. I think it looks so amazing. And it's supposed to be better for your eye and more natural. So it's very nice. I'm watching Scumpy right now. He's playing Call of Duty. The God is back. Um, here is my webcam. I put this little card because you never know. You never know who's watching you. Like, have you seen those movies? I have. Um, also, this is the 
Logitech C920 HD 1080p. Um, I really like it. I've never bought another camera. This is the only camera I've ever had for streaming and it has been amazing and I love it. So I highly recommend that you can get it on Amazon. It's actually very affordable. Right here we have my headset. This is the Razer Kraken Pro V2. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up here, but this is my um, headset. Um, so the ears are actually sold separately. They're about $20, and um, they're actually a lot more sturdy than they look. You can put that on any headset, basically, but you have to buy it from Razer or Amazon uh, through Razer, and I really like this headset. I think it is amazing. It's so cute, and it actually has really good quality, so it's not just for looks, and it's very comfortable on my head. This is just the color quartz though, so I really like it. It matches my keyboard. And hopefully one day I can um, get the stand that comes with it and put it over there. But while we're looking over here, I have my cup warmer because I have coffee every single stream. And this is my merch cup. So if you guys want to check out the merch, check that description below or you can scroll down and see it. It's Liddy. There's my lip mark, sorry guys. <laughs> Still have coffee in there and we have my actual handwriting on the back of those as you guys can see I've complained about how small my desk is this way like that way um, I can't rest my entire arm on it like my arm would hang off if I were to try and rest my arm on it and hopefully one day I can get a, long, a larger desk so I can rest my arms on it and just PC game very nicely this is my keyboard it is a Razer Black Widow tournament edition and um, it's in the color quartz. I love it so much. Um, and you can change the lighting and all that, but I personally like it like this. And then when I touch certain buttons, it's just reactive. So it shines green all nice. I just like it like that personally. I just think it looks clean. Down here where all the cords are, we have my foot pedal where I do push to talk. I actually started using this when I was on controller. When I was on PC using controller and I needed to push to talk so I can talk to my stream and to other people without annoying them. And I just used the foot pedal because it's just easier that way and, and I just got so used to it that I was like, why not? Why not just keep it there? This is the Jetsick holder that I screwed uh, onto my desk. Not into it, onto it. And I'll show you on the bottom right now. So that's what it looks like underneath. It's super simple, but it's really freaking heavy. So R.I.P. to my muscles that day. The cool thing about the lights is that I can control it with my phone. So if I wanted to make them red, they're red. DIY, you can do it yourself. And that one I have this like cute fade one. Let's see the mode for music. Then it would literally just respond to the beats and the music. So right now, it's responding to my voice and I'm being really quiet. But if I speak really loud, it responds to that as well. So you can put it anywhere. It's really awesome, I love it. And um, with, with my new camera angle, you can see the back of my room. If you guys haven't stopped by my stream, shame on you. But basically, these are little neon lights that I put in the back of my stream just to make it look cool. Just for some extra something. I like them. One of the things in my setup that I wanted to work on is the sound. So because I switched around, I, I flipped it, it bounces off this wall in the corner so it echoes and it's like bah. And I'm right here. I don't know if you guys can hear the little echo reverb, but I did buy some of those um, foam um, absorbing, sound absorbing foam that you put on the walls and it's coming today. I don't know if it's here yet. I should go check downstairs. Let's go check downstairs. As you can see, it's nighttime now because it's dark in here. My little foam things came in. This is in the color charcoal. Ooh, $18 on Amazon. 12 of these big pieces in this stack here. Um, unfortunately, I thought we had command strips so that I can put them on the wall, but we don't. So I'm gonna have to go to Walgreens or something. See, so you can even hear it. Whoop! So bad. Anyways, um, I won't be able to put that up right now, but hopefully later, I can have an update for you guys. And yeah, mm -hmm. time to be extra with a cool slow motion montage. Another.
What's up guys? Here's that update that I was talking about in the video. Um, apparently there's a lot of different areas that I need to cover so I need to buy more foam but I mean I can hear the tiniest difference but I still need a lot more and I gotta put it on this back wall too unfortunately. There it is. <laughs> My lights aren't as bright anymore. I need to rearrange that or something. But either way, I mean, it looks kind of cool. I need more here, and then I need to put more on this wall so that it can, like, you know, it, you know, sound shit. Like, I had to look up a lot of stuff. It sucks. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching my setup tour. It was very small, but it was nice. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I wouldn't have been able to get any of this without you guys. So thank you very much. If you guys have not dropped a thick like by now, make sure that you drop a like because I'll greatly appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of the setup. If you guys have any interest in any items or if you guys already have one of these items, let me know in the comments below. I'm interested. Also, make sure if you are brand new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, live your best life, and become a sinner right now. This is your time to shine. Check out all my other videos. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. The links are all down below at Cinematic BTW at this time um, for everything. I do stream on Twitch Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. in the morning, <sighs> Pacific Standard Time. So make sure that you guys stop by there as well. If you guys like some more gaming content, like actual gaming content, go there because you know my youtube be all over the place because i'm just so talented at so many things i just want to share with the world shout out to my current patrons i love you guys desire kills la canard rouge i man and el garcia i love you guys very much Mwah. consider becoming a patron for five dollars a month to see exclusive content but you don't have to be a patron to follow me on patreon link is in the description below i'll see you guys next time but until then send on sinners all right guys it is sinful comment time where i respond to the comments from the last video here we go wolf 9474 totally my dude and let's ask ourselves which one of these companies is the richest hmm t aw matthew johnson you know i'm always sinning project styles dude this is the shit i'm talking about four days later Deeper from the eight, I 100% feel you, my dude. Glad I'm not the only one. Bruh, Rebs, that was way before my time. I was happy with the 30% that they took. Bruh. Imagine streaming in that time of 10%. Those must have been the golden days. All right, Boomy, thanks for being my biggest fanboy. And, uh, oop, EJ, you be you, bro. That happened to me all the time, even to my most closest friends. It would unsubscribe me from them. And all of a sudden, I would be like on their stream, resubscribing, and I look like an idiot. Like, no, I promise I didn't unsub. It just did it for me. Why, YouTube? Why? Molly goes, it makes me happy you feel that way. It's very inspiring. It makes me just want to keep on pushing. Ben the Beautiful. Mike is just so ignorant, isn't he? Hey, nay, nay. Yas, use code sinners in the item shop every single day. Mr. Joseph John, thank Kylie Jenner, my dude. Oh, really, Rian Barnes? Really? Enlighten me. Enlighten me. 